He's still pretty skinny, but he's not as skinny as he used to be. So in any case, we're going to go over here to BZ. We're going to right click and we're going to hide those. So we're going to hide that, hide. And so now we got this side by side. Let's make this another skinny, a skinny CA, skinny California, skinny CA. California is huge. It's not skinny, but whatever. Here we go. We're going to say then it's going to be the balance sheet. Balance sheet. And then let's make let's make some of it just black up top. So we have some some items just to note that that's the heading. So I'm going to make that our standard black and white for the head to er black and white. So there we go. And then we'll typically have just the assets, liabilities and equity, which we could stack on top of each other or we can do a side by side. And so a lot of software will stack it like the assets on top and then the liabilities and equity on the bottom because that's a nice vertical analysis when you're in a situation where your screen is kind of you're, you're, you're scrunching space this way. But oftentimes people like to see it where it's sprawled out where the assets equal the liabilities and equity so you can see two sides of kind of like a big T account. So I'm actually going to construct it that way with, with the assets on the left, liabilities and equity on the right. So let's start. We're going to have the assets here and we might want to make that as a color i'm going to make it like this same formatting by paintbrush in that green put that green on my paintbrush and put it right there and then we're going to say we usually have a subcategory of current assets those are going to be more liquid assets so and in accounting software it'll often name the account types as current assets so in other words if i was to put these accounts into software like a quickbooks software would have a special name for the checking account and the cash accounts and because it wants to have a ledger but they would also be a current asset type of accounts accounts receivable would have a special account but also a current asset i believe inventory then would simply be under the designation of an account type of a current asset asset type of account generally but they're all going to be current assets and note i don't need a special subcategorization for like the checking account in our worksheet because it's just a current asset which really should go under basically cash we should even rename it under